Love is meditation, is the way to attain to harmony, freedom, oneness, a way to establish a communion with the unknown and unknowable. Love is the fragrance of your being. It is the way of communion with the unknown and unknowable. Love is the ultimate way to relate. Never consider love a relationship. You cannot give it a name, form, shape or anything finite. Love is an unseen but realized truth. When it grips, you are overheld. It comes from the unknown and unknowable and then gives you the taste of your being and before you become aware of it, it disappears. Love relates. Love is the way to relate to sentient and insentient beings. Love is awareness. Love is a way of life. Love is the understanding. Love is your being. Love is the way to manifest your being. Certainly love is not a relationship. A relationship implies that something is finished. Relationship is a noun. The full stop has come. The honeymoon is over. Now there is no joy, no enthusiasm. All is finished. Yet still you can carry it on like the dead corpse. And for that matter, everybody is carrying the love on their shoulders like a dead corpse. Life moves on just to keep your promises. You can carry it on because it is comfortable, convenient and cozy. You carry it on because there is nothing else to do. You carry it on because if you disrupt it, it is going to create much trouble for you. Relationship means something is finished and closed. Love is never a relationship. Love opens its wings in the unknown and unknowable field. And before it reaches the known realm, it disappears. This is what you need to meditate on. Love comes from the unknown and unknowable realm, just as first of all comes the light, the noor, the awareness, the luminosity of the soul. Then it filters through the mind and intellect realm and then when it comes down to the known realm you can know the taste you can feel the touch you can see it comes to the known realm it comes from the unknown and unknowable realm and before it reaches the known realm of your actions, of your responses, it disappears. This is what you need to meditate upon. Why it comes in its pure form, like the rainwater. The rainwater, when it leaves the clouds or the hailstorm, when it leaves the clouds, it is in its purest form. When it reaches the earth's atmosphere, in its essence it is pure. As it descends from the unknown and unknowable realm, when it reaches the earth's atmosphere, that means the known realm, when it reaches to your organs of actions and perception, that is the known realm, it gets disturbed. 
when it is said it gets polluted means love's essence is lost its fragrance disappears this is why it is said love is meditation this is what you need to meditate upon if you start seeking newness then you are moving to the realm of the world of conflict duality and misery love is milestone a little meditation on its nature changes the gestalt and directs your energy towards the inner realm love is relative it is always like a river flowing unending love knows no full stop once it process begins it never ends love's honeymoon begins but never ends it is not like a novel that is starts at a certain point and ends at a certain point all of our relationships are like a novel that begins at a point and that ends at a point to relate love is an ongoing phenomenon lovers end but love continues it is a continuum it is who not a noun and why do you reduce the beauty of relating to relationship why are you in such a hurry to relate is insecure and relationship is a security relationship has a certainty relating is just a meeting of two strangers maybe just an overnight stay and in the morning we say goodbye who knows what is going to happen tomorrow and you are so afraid that you want to make it certain you want to make it predictable you would like tomorrow to be according to your ideas naturally you do not allow it freedom to have its own way so we immediately reduce every woo to a noun you are in love with a woman or a man and immediately you start thinking of getting married make it a legal contract why how does law come in into love the law comes into love because love is not there it is only a fantasy and you know the fantasy will disappear soon so before it disappears you want to settle down before it disappears do something so it becomes impossible to settle in the world with more meditativeness around with a little more enlightenment is spread over the earth people will love love immensely but their love will remain a relation not a relationship this does not mean that their love will be only momentary there is every possibility their love may go deeper than your love love may have a higher quality of intimacy when love becomes a meditation a different kind of intimacy exists different kind of intimacy is born certainly there will be something more of poetry and more of god in it and there is every possibility that their love may last longer than your so called relationship ever does but it will not be guaranteed by law the guarantee will be inner it will be a commitment from the heart it will be a silent communion if you enjoy being with somebody you would like to enjoy it more and more if you enjoy the intimacy you would like to explore the intimacy more and more and through this intimacy you would like to reach the core of your being and there are few flowers of love 
which blossom only after long intimacy. There are some seasonal flowers that blossom very easily. Love's flower takes a very long time to blossom. There are seasonal flowers too. Within six weeks, they are there in the sun. But within next six weeks, again, they wither away forever. These are the flowers. There are flowers which take years to come. Still there are flowers which take many years to come. The longer it takes, the deeper it goes, and longer these last. But it has to be a commitment from one heart to another. It has not even to be verbalized. There is no need, because to verbalize is to profane love and its fragrance. It has to be a silent communion, communion, a commitment, eye to eye, heart to heart, and being to being. It has to be understood, felt and realized, not said. It is so ugly seeing people going to the church or to the court to get married. It is so ugly, so inhuman. It simply shows they cannot trust themselves. Instead, they trust the policeman more than they trust their own inner voice. It shows they cannot trust their love. Instead, they trust the law. Therefore, forget relationships and learn how to relate. In a relationship, you start taking each other for granted. This is what destroys the love affairs. Woman thinks she knows the man, and the man thinks he knows the woman. In reality, nobody knows either. It is impossible to know the other. The other remains a mystery, and to take the other for granted is insulting and disrespectful too. To think that you know your wife is very ungrateful. How can you know the woman? How can you know the man? They are processes. You are a process which is constantly changing. Each moment you are born, each moment you die. A thought comes, disappears. Like a wave on the ocean of life, one day you came into existence. You are a process. They are not things. The woman that you knew yesterday is not there today because you are not a statue. You are revering, constantly changing. But the change is so minute that you cannot envision. So much water has flown down the river. Today, the consciousness and understanding is different. She is somebody else. Totally different. Relate again. Start the process once again. However, never take it for granted. And the man you slept with last night, now look at his face again in the morning. He is no more the same person. The breath that gives him the life is no more there. Instead, there is a different breath. He is no more the same person. So much has changed. So much has really changed. That is the difference between a thing and a person. The furniture in the room remains the same, unchanged. But the man and woman can never remain the same. Explore again. Begin again afresh. This is what is relating. This is what 
is meditation living moment to moment as it comes. You are living with awareness as the moment comes. There is no set rules how to interact. When I come on the program to begin this new session of meditation, again and again you are introducing yourself to each other. You are trying to see the many faces of the other. You are trying to penetrate deeper and deeper into his realm of inner feelings, into deep recess of his being. Indeed, you are trying to unravel the mystery, which cannot be unraveled. But the effort is always fulfilling. That is the joy of love. This is the exploration of consciousness. And if you relate, and never reduce it to a relationship, then the other will become a mirror to you. Explore him or her. Unaware, you will be exploring yourself too, getting deeper into the other, knowing his feelings, thoughts, deeper strings. You will be discovering your own deeper stringings as well. Lovers become mirror to each other and then love becomes meditation in that process. This is the mystical insight of a Buddha into life, of an awakened one into life. That should be your way. In that, love is meditation.